Despite its rich political heritage as the home of legends, the Eastern Cape suffers from chronic underdevelopment and deepening poverty, especially in the rural areas. Premier Oscar Mabuyana says his new provincial cabinet team is under strict instructions to change the situation. No one will not be asked uh, to be accountable simply because he's a leader. There is no such. Okay. Leaders will remain as leaders outside. In government, we want servants. People who are here, they are here to serve. Mm -hmm. And people who are appointed, they must understand that they are not appointed uh, to get salaries. They are appointed to serve and earn salaries. Right. Even those who are actually employed as administrators, they are not employed to, uh, to get salaries. Mabuyane denies allegations he's benefited from a fraudulent transaction resulting in money being stolen from a small Mizana municipality. He says he's committed to clean administration. Uh, I've never been involved in any corruption. Yeah. Uh, I've made it very clear from the day one. It was an arrangement right. agreed upon. So it's never been a corrupt uh, a transaction at all. Right. Even when you look at it, there is no such that there's money of the municipality that has been actually used without work done. It's a distortion. It's a malicious thing of a tender premier who's actually running around like headless chicken, uh, used by some to discredit some leaders for the sake of capturing mm. the very same government for their selfish interests. Mabuyane has retained four members from the previous administration as he seeks to balance experience, institutional memory and infusing fresh ideas into provincial government. Gender balance has been a big factor in assembling the provincial cabinet with a team consisting of six women, two of them under the age of 35. Tammy Dixon, Port Alfred.